let's look at question A. Kelvin was driving along a highway when he saw a road sign post that read Arrowtown 128km, Burlington 202km. To, for convenience sake, we shall use A to represent Arrowtown and B to represent Burlington. So at the first sign post, we have We have A 128KM, B 202KM. Now, later on along the highway, Kelvin saw a second signpost that said the distance to Burning Town was twice the distance to Arrow Town. Let's write that down. So we have distance to B equals to 2 times distance to A. Then further on along the highway, Kelvin saw a third signpost that said that distance to Burning Town was three times the distance to Arrow Town. So we have distance to B equals to three times distance to A. Now with this set of conditions, there are actually two possible scenarios that satisfy them. The first one, we shall call scenario one, is is that A and B are both ahead of Kelvin. This is indicated by the arrows pointing upwards to signify that they are ahead of Kelvin. Then the second scenario Scenario 2 is when arrow town is in front of Kelvin but Berlin town is behind Kelvin. So let's look at scenario 1 in greater detail. Okay, to help us understand the question better, we can draw a diagram. So, let this be the highway. Then you may wonder, must the highway be a straight line? In fact, we have to make a few assumptions. The first assumption is that both A and B are along the highway. So, in that case, we have A and B like this. Then the second assumption is that the distances measured are distances along the highway. This is important because if the highway were curved, but you were measuring the distance along the highway, then you can actually stretch out the highway into a straight line, and the distances measured, the distance measured is still the same. So, with this assumption in place, we can just take it that the highway is a straight line. Then, let's put the information onto the diagram. So we have the first signpost, second signpost, third signpost, Arrow Town and Berlin Town. So based on what we know at the first signpost, we have this is one to eight. First signpost to Arrow Town. And first signpost to Burning Town is 202. Now, to help us solve the second signpost, we will introduce a variable. Let's call this x. This is the distance from the first signpost to the second signpost. Now, if this is x, then this would be 128 minus x. And this would be 202 minus x. Then, what is this actually? This 202 minus x is actually distance from second signpost to Burning Town. So, distance to, that is the distance to B. So, we have distance to B, that's 202 minus x, is equals to 2 times distance to A. And distance to A, that's from second signpost to A, that will be the 128 minus x. So, now we have an equation in x. Let's solve it. First, expand the brackets. Then, bring all the x over to the left side and all the numbers over to the right side. So, minus 2x go over becomes 2x. 202 go over becomes minus 202. This x comes down, 256 comes down. Then, solve this further, you get x equals to 54. Okay, now, for the third signpost, 
Let's introduce another variable. Let's call this y. This is distance from first signpost to the third signpost. Then this will be 1 to 8 minus y. And this, this will be actually from 2 to minus y. 2 to minus y. So now, distance to b equals to 3 times distance to a at the third signpost. Distance to b is from the third to the b. That will be 2 to minus y. Equals to 3 times distance to a. Distance to a is third to a. That will be 1 to 8 minus y. So we have an equation in y. Let's solve it. Again, expand the bracket. Bring all the y's over to the left side. And all the numbers over to the right side. Then, solve it further. We get y equals to 91. Okay, let's write the value of x down here. Now, what is our objective? Our objective is to find the distance between the second and third signpost. That's this distance. What is this? This is actually y minus x. So, so we have So we have distance between second and third signpost is equal to y minus x cam. And summing the values of y and x we have found earlier, that's 91 minus 54 km equals to 37 km. And that's the answer for scenario 1. Now let's look at scenario 2. So again, we'll draw a diagram to help us understand the question. Now in this case, Arrowtown is in front of Kelvin. So Arrowtown is here. And Berlin Town is behind Kelvin. So Berlin Town will be here. Then the three signposts in the middle. Like this. Since Kelvin is moving towards Arrowtown, so you have 1, 2, 3 in this manner. Again, from the first signpost, we know that this is 2, 2, and this is 1, 2, 8. Okay, the diagram is not drawn to scale. It's mainly because I want you to see what's happening at the, the, the three signposts. Okay, now, like, just like scenario 1, let's call this x. This is the distance between the first and second signpost. Then if this is x, this will be 1 to 8 minus x. And then, this is actually 2 to plus x. So now with this, we can formulate an equation for the second signpost. Distance to B equals to 2 times distance to A. Distance to B, that's from the second to B. That is 2, 2 plus X. Equals to 2 times distance to A. Distance to A, second to A. That will be 1 to 8 minus X. Then again, we solve the equation. Bring all the x over to the left side and all the numbers over to the right side. So we get x equals to 18. Then for the third sign post, again, we introduce a variable. This is y. y is the distance from the first sign post to the third sign post. Then if this is y, this will be 1 to 8 minus y. And this would be 2 to plus y. 
So, distance to B equals to 3 times distance to A at the third sign post. Distance to B is from the third one to B. That will be 2, 2 plus Y. Equals to 3 times distance to A. Distance to A is from the third to A. That will be 1, 2, 8 minus Y. So, we have an equation in Y. Let's solve it. Okay? Open up the bracket. Bring all the Y's over to the left side. And all the numbers over to the right side. Simplify further. You get y equals to 45.5. Then we write x equals to 18 here. And what's our objective? Our objective is to find distance between the second and the third sign post. This distance. And again, this is y minus x. So, so distance between the second and third sign post is equal to y minus x km. And we sum in the values of y and x we have found earlier. 45.5 minus 18. This will give us 27.5. 27.5 km. So that's the answer for scenario 2. And ta-da, we are done.